What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a stipulation draft, courtesy of Fragged Camper. Uh, the stipulation is, and I'll repeat it again before we start drafting. The stipulation is... You missed it. It's lower. It's right there. I couldn't find it for a second. Rock, paper, scissors. Me and the birthday boy play rock, paper, scissors for each pick. Keep the pick secret for some spice. So I, in my head, I'll pick a card. Mike will pick a card. We rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins, that's the card we pick. And uh, we got to pick quick, though, because we're not going to have that much time. We're just going to do best of one. One, two, three, shoot. Right, yeah, yeah. Sure. Before that, we are going to read part of Kerwitz's second fanfic <laughs> for Mike B. Okay? That's what we're going to do. This is the third fanfic that has been... This is the third fanfic that's been written and read on stream. I actually have a fourth that I haven't read yet. Oh, but God. Kerwitz has been dying for this one. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to read a little bit of it. It's eight pages... <laughs> 4,200 words, and we're only going to read part of it today, and then we'll do, like, just like we did the last time, we'll continue in different different videos. Moochel, Moochel, it's your turn. Michael's attention had drifted off, and he had missed that it was his turn to play a card. Michael, or Moochel, as some had taken to calling him, was attending Frank Zippor, Duke of Sussex's nightly parlor. <laughs> Alrighty. Being invited to the Duke's parlor was quite the honor, frequently attended by the noble and notable alike. Some even said that the queen had once attended. A night at Frank's parlor usually involved the wittiest conversation, for which the duke was well known. Guests would often bring strange and exotic items or foods, with which everyone would amuse themselves. And the one thing that always happens, cards. Frank was a notorious card player. In his younger years, he had gotten himself into much trouble, and even earned him a shot in the gut on one occasion. <laughs> oh boy but had since retired from any serious playing. However, this did not stop all the lords and ladies from coming out to watch and partake of a joyous evening of cards and witty banter. Michael had become one of the regulars at the Duke's table when he was in town, and the two had become quite good friends. Oh, see, okay. This is... The comma was in the wrong place there. Michael had become one of the regulars at the Duke's table when he was in town, and the two had become quite good friends. The Duke had insisted that Michael stay at Strathmore, the Duke's vast estate, while Michael was visiting Crawley. <laughs> Michael's visits were becoming much more frequent of late. Not that the Duke would even know if Michael was there or not, given the size of the Strathmore estate. Is Strathmore reference to something? Not that I know. Okay, because you laughed, so I was like, oh, is that like a... That's funny because it sounded ridiculous. Uh, everyone is waiting. Michael realized that he still had not played a card, and the Duke seems slightly vexed now. One would think that you would not be in such a hurry to lose... The onlookers giggled slightly to this quip from Michael, mostly out of decorum. Wow. You're fucking sassy. <laughs> My good Mr. Barbobblyboo, uh, anyone paying attention can see that there is only one sure loser here, and it is certainly not I. This jab from the Duke elicited a more fervent response from the crowd, which transformed into light applause as he played his final card, sealing his victory. Ah, victorious again. Thank you all for coming this evening, but we shall have to part ways now. You are welcome to stay and partake of my hospitality or join myself and a few guests as we go out for a night at the opera. A renowned tenor has just arrived from Egypt who they say has the voice of Quicksilver. Wow, I'm fucking fancy. Uh, you know, assuming this is me. Those in attendance at Strathmore Parlor began talking amongst themselves about various topics. Foremost amongst them was the new tenor at the opera and whether they should attend. That makes sense. The London Opera House was a good 30 miles away, and some did not fancy an hour-long carriage ride. Still, many decided to accompany the Duke and his entourage for the occasion. Michael noticed a woman sitting on a couch nearby, whom he recognized as Lady Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. He suspected she had been sent by a certain someone to keep an eye on him. He went over and sat next to her, but did not attempt to make any small talk. Eventually, she stopped paying much attention to him and started paying more attention to someone else. Lady Catherine, abs absent-mindedly staring at the Duke, mumbled, I've got to get... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Absent-mindedly mumbled, I've got to get me some of that. Not realizing that Michael could hear her. <laughs> My God, dude. <sighs> Jesus, crying out loud. 
What was that? Michael asked, surprised. Lady Catherine, realizing that she had said it out loud, quickly covered up for her misdeed. I said I need a new hat. <laughs> yes, people like hats, Michael said in an awkward <laughs> monotone voice, trying to gloss over a faux pas. Well, I should be going. I have a gathering to attend, as do you, I believe, Lady Catherine said as she stood up and left the parlor. A little later, the Duke wandered over and sat next to the contemplative Michael. <sighs> Michael Barbablibu, what is that distracts? What is it that distracts you this fine evening? Frank enjoyed the company of Michael and could tell when he was preoccupied. It is nothing, however. I think it. I shall not accompany you to the. It is nothing, however. I think I shall not accompany you to the opera. I think it best if I take my rest. I may never understand you, but that is precisely the reason I find you so fascinating. Say hello to your new friend for me, will you? At this, the Duke left Michael in a stunned state as he moved toward the exit of the parlor. Michael was indeed intending to go visit the drawing room of another house in Crawley. Drawing room? What's a drawing room? I have no idea. With the intention of meeting a certain someone there, as he had been doing for weeks. However, this was not something he had thought others were aware of. Evidently, Michael was better known by the Duke than he previously thought. I'm on to you, buddy. <laughs> The parlor was becoming empty. Most had chosen to go to the opera or go home. A few still lingered, taking up the Duke on his offer of hospitality. The parlor was lavishly furnished, with many seating areas arranged to allow groups to break off into their own conversations. The walls were lined with bookcases, which was impressive given the size of the room. There were a few large tables used for eating or playing games, and the floors were covered with majestic rugs. Frank had also added a few statues that he had commissioned of famous literary characters, as he was an avid patron of the arts. Frank enjoyed discussing the latest plays and novels with anyone who attended his gatherings, sometimes doing so while he was engaged in a hand of cards, which, while it was distracting, did not stop him from winning. Well, that's that's the first chapter. Holy shit, my eyes are watering, dude. <laughs> <sighs> chapter 2. Michael Barbobliboo. Michael had been spending a few nights a week visiting the drawing room of the Lady Corina Bortina. <laughs> Lady Bortina... <laughs> had been very influential member had been a very influential member of the Crawley elite until recently when her husband had died rumors circulated that she somehow had something to do with the late the late lord bortina's demise bortina's the late lord bortina's demise but in truth these were just spread by certain members of the community looking for a way to tear her down michael enjoyed her company and she seemed to lavish attention on him whenever he was in attendance so when he entered the drawing room on this particular evening and was announced by the butler Lady Bortina immediately called out to him. Oh, Michael, I'm so glad you're here. Come and tell us about the Duke's parlor. Michael, waited. Michael made his way around the different groups of people that were discussing a variety of different topics and over to the small group that were standing around Corina. Corina Bortina. <laughs> it was much the same as always, but Frank ended the evening early so that he could attend the opera. The other members of the little circle nodded, acknowledging the statement, but not showing much interest in it. How interesting, Lady Bortina always... Lady Bortina was always interested in what Michael had to say. You didn't go to the opera with him? No, I had other plans for the evening. Lady Bortina seemed to glow, to glow a little at the clear indication that he would rather spend time with her than accompany the Duke to the opera. Oh, so Michael should say, no, I had other plans for the evening. At this, the other members of the group wandered off, not wanting to be part of their thinly veiled small talk. Neither Michael nor Lady Bortina were very good at covering up their infatuation for each other. The two of them talked for quite a bit longer, left by the other guests, until Lady Bortina inquired if Michael would like to go for a walk in her garden the next day. She had been trying for some time to get Michael to do something more private with her, thus far to no avail. I believe I would like that. As soon as Michael uttered the words, Lady Bortina clapped her hands and jumped excitedly. Oh, this will be quite fun. I must begin preparing. At this, she quickly made her way out of the room, seeing no reason to be there any longer. Michael left and began to walk back to Strathmore. Up until this point, he was reluctant to be alone with Lady Bortina, out of fear that she would find out he was not the sophisticated individual that she normally associated with. Unlike Frank, Lady Bortina, or the other lords and ladies, Michael was quite common. He was not rich, and his job was quite unusual. Michael worked in a call center. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, these timelines aren't adding up. <laughs> you couldn't even with the medieval theme job there? <laughs> Michael works in a call center in, medieval, in, 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 in Clearwater, Florida. A job that did not yet exist in a place that was probably presently a swamp. 
Holy Jesus. You see, Michael was a time drop. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, now I get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <coughs> oh, I'm fucking dying. <sighs> okay. You see, Michael was a time traveler, but not the interesting guy. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Michael traveled here simply because he had found a place to stay for free. Rent was quite expensive in his time, and he could no longer afford to pay it. <laughs> Michael's like, yeah, I'll just time travel there because it's free, I guess. Sometimes previous, sometime previous, Michael had found a great deal on the DeLorean. The DeLorean was a car that was poorly conceived, and as such, people were not much interested in them. The car had been featured in the movie Back to the Future, where it was used as a time machine. What most people did not know was that all DeLoreans are time machines. Michael has surely not known, but had stumbled across it accidentally. Once he had discovered its secret, he bounced around through time until a chance meeting with the Duke had led to a place to stay. Oh my god. <coughs> my throat, dude. <coughs> Alright, we got one more chapter, and then we'll pause it here. This one is called <clears throat> The Duke. Frank Laporte, Duke of Sussex, was vastly wealthy and not just because of his high station in life. As a younger man, he had traveled the world and had begun importing various spices into England. Like you do. This had done very well for him and it even earned him the title of Salt King of England. Down here, salt is a way of life. On account of exotic salts being his most profitable import. This was not a title that he particularly liked, but he humored those that used it. The Duke was also not married, a fact which brought an unusual number of ladies to his nightly gatherings. This did not bother Frank, as he fancied himself a ladies' man. He would spend many evenings regaling a group of young suitors, if ladies can be called so, of tales of his younger days in foreign lands. Most would return time after time, until it became apparent that he was not reciprocating their advances, at which points that they would go elsewhere to find other young men more attentive to their needs. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Duke was interested in women and finding a wife, however, however, and oh, the Duke was interested in women and finding a wife. However, an experience had made him somewhat reluctant to pursue any opportunities. When he was a younger man, Frank had been engaged to a young lady from a very prominent family. The marriage was propositioned as a union between two powerful families. Such weddings are usually nothing more than pretense. However, Frank and Nadetta, <laughs> Nadetta, we're, we're genuinely infatuated with each other, unfortunately for both. Nadetto was quite smart, and wound up being burned as a witch. <laughs> you know, like, like you do. <sighs> this soured the whole prospect of marriage, as Frank found Nadetta's intellect refreshing and worried that any other such ladies were doomed to meet a similar fate. <clears throat> Frank now spent his days in idle luxury, playing cards and mingling with ladies, but this existence had left him unfulfilled. The appearance of Michael had added a depth to his life that had been lacking for some time. Unlike the others that attended his gatherings, Michael seemed genuine, and not particularly interested in his wealth. Michael would disappear from time to time, but generally reappeared a few days later. Thank you. He did not seem to enjoy all the pastimes that Frank pursued, the arts, all, all the pastimes that Frank pursued. The arts, fox hunts, or attending executions. <laughs> you don't like coming to my executions, Michael? Thanks for the resub, by the way. My dog's name, Pig. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. <clears throat> okay. In truth, he was one of the stranger people that Frank had encountered. Michael had a very peculiar accent, an accent that Frank had never heard. Michael claimed that it was from Delaware in the New World, <laughs> a place to which Frank had never been. He also wore some very elaborate clothing. Frank had been trying to get Michael to reveal a tailor that was able to weave words into fabric. It must have cost a fortune. And yet Michael did not spend much money. <laughs> Michael would also invent some of those fanciful foods on one occasion while playing cards. Michael commented that he would very much like some pizza. I'm afraid I'm at a loss, Frank responded, never having heard of pizza before. Please enlighten us as to this pizza. Oh my, it's nothing. Michael did not try to introduce things from the future into this time, mostly because it might make people suspicious. Frank, who had enjoyed some of his past creations, was not interested in letting this one slip. No, no. Out with it. 
Well, pizza is a thin dough with some crushed tomatoes, then some cheese on top of that, and some meat to finish it off. This seemed to go over well with the other people at the table. I say, that sounds simply delightful. Duke Lepore, why don't you have your kitchen attempt to make us some? The General Hungrald Howard the first was not a regular at Strathmore, but was certainly a welcome guest. Where did you hear where do you hear of such things, Mr. Barbobbly Boo? In my travels I enjoy spending time with peasants. This seemed to satiate the general and the others, as none of them would ever dream of mingling with peasants, and so I had no idea what any of them ate or did. It was at this point, while the other guests were preoccupied with his newly created dish, that Mike leaned over to ask Frank a favor. The Lady Bortina has requested that I visit with her tomorrow at her estate. I must admit that I'm a little frightened by the prospect, even though I am quite eager. I wonder if you would be so kind as to attend with me. My good Moochel, what is there to be afraid of? The Lady Bortina is a tiny woman. <laughs> she is an adventurous woman. At this, Frank burst out in laughter. Very well, I shall attend with you, but only because I must see this for myself. <clears throat> and that is the end of the third chapter. <laughs> Next time, we'll start with the the estate. <laughs> this has been pretty great so far. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> Woo! That was pretty good. That is very, very good. Oh my god, my throat hurts now. I laughed more than once. Oh my god. Just got a text message. I love the story, <laughs> lol. Oh my god. Michael, you don't like to go to executions? <laughs> Not my thing, man. Hungled Howie? <clears throat> I didn't even get the reference. Uh, yeah, I missed that too, actually. Oh my god, hold on. Hold on. Let me double check. Nope, that's not the right one. This is the right one. I can't be a fool that it's called Michael B. Fanfix because you have so many. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where I gotta keep them. Hold on. We were on the Duke. Okay. Just give me one second, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, hopefully this was entertaining enough for you to... Hungrled Howard! Oh my god. Yeah, it totally slipped by me, too. Hungry Howie! <laughs> Wow, that's incredible. I was like, Hungrel, that's a weird name. <laughs> Holy shit. Kermit, you are a fucking, you are a, you are a masterful gentleman with a thing. What about the Freddie Mercury reference? I gotta blow my nose real quick. Hold on. I don't want you guys to watch though. Give me a second. I don't think I caught the Freddie Mercury reference either, but I think like I think it's easier for me to get the references if I'm listening to it <laughs> rather than reading it. Because I think once I'm reading it, it's like it's a lot harder to like pick up on the things, you know, because you're too busy focused on like reading it. All right, you ready to do the stipulation by Fragged Camper? Oh, hello. Hmm? Are you ready to do the stipulation? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you talking to me? Okay. <clears throat> oh, man. Did you have back from a phone call? How'd your job really call go, Mike? Pretty good. Just explaining what the job's about. Is it... Is it... Oh, okay, we did it. All right. Mm, okay. Okay. One, two, three, shoot. Yep. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Gotcha. Kruk. All right. This is this is actually this this could work out. You ready? It's a one zero so far, bitch. <laughs> it's not a contest, Michael. It is to me. Oh, okay. Place your bets now. I kind of like this story more than magic. <clears throat> That's a good compliment. Is Freddie Mercury Egyptian? Can you read it again? Um, no. You can watch it on YouTube. 
Ooh, what's it gonna be? What's it? What's it gonna be? This is awkward because like I don't want to take a card for for a deck that I'm trying to make. I gotta take a card for a deck that we're trying <gasps> to make. <gasps> okay, I got it. All right. Okay, we gotta we gotta call we gotta we gotta say it. Okay. Rock One. paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Fucking twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, manly. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Uh, I'm trying to think of a card. Okay. Okay. okay I got it. All right. Rock, One, two, paper, three, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. Got him again. Seriously? Uh, uh, why am I spacing on what I picked? It's it's in the pack. Oh, uh, Battle Ball. Over Dream Tr Fuck, God. I'm not having a good time, guys. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Rock, Ooh. paper, scissors, shoot. Got him again. This is fucking unbelievable. I forgot to pick a card in advance. What the fuck? <laughs> This is just a Michael draft. It's literally four for four. Fertile ground. Oh my god. Oh, I, fucking hate it. I hate it. I'm having a bad time. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm uh, thinking of a card. Uh, all right, I got it. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, you got one. Get fucking wrecked. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Damn it. I guess that's fine. That's, that's fine. Early. All right, it's three to one. Bring us out of both drawing lands and rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> yeah, and you're the one who has to live with it deal with that one to four <laughs> all right i got a pig in mind you got a pig in mind yeah a pig in mind okay i'm in rock paper scissors shoot wild grow that's all right i was gonna take that too <laughs> michael said to the, this is my draft <laughs> hey man when you first shoot are you thinking about it or are you just going random I was thinking about it, and that's why I kept going scissors, but then, like, once I stopped thinking, I just think it's just random after a certain point now. I don't random. All right, let me think of a card. Oh, wow. I don't ran. I don't, I don't random. <laughs> All right, I got a card in mind. Me too. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, foothills. Thank you. Hi, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Get fucked. Got him. <laughs> That's what I was going to take. Brady, boy. It was either that or the Hydra. Hydra's good, too. Gotti. I'm also living with Michael, who may be good at both of those things. Oh, that's... Well... <clears throat> well, I meant live with in terms of not like the house, but like live with... No like, one said I was good. You're stuck with me. That was what I meant. No one said I was good at drawing lands. But I think my luck is better than Frank's as far as that goes. Zanzibar is Africa, but isn't Egypt in Africa? Hey man, maybe what we should do is during your upkeep, you give me the mouse and then I click the next step and then I draw the land. Oh, and then the land comes to you. Right. Oh, this is... Okay, this is pointless. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, All I'll right. take this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is Hydra dot deck. Dark deck's looking sweet though. I like it so far. Need a little more ramp, but. Rock, paper, scissors. After the draft portion, we should order that Thai food. Uh huh. So we don't miss it twice. <laughs> That'd be brutal. I'd cry. <clears throat> cry. What? 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't cry anymore. How did you two meet? Magic. Just, just like magic. a just a local magic store. Mutual friend playing magic. That's all. It was like ten years ago. It was a hundred years ago. And he's been a thorn in my side ever since. <laughs> yeah, right, bit. Barcode is here. <clears throat> it's true. Mutual said to the Duke <laughs> Oh, I read that one already. Dang it. Rock, paper, scissors between picks to speed it up. Oh, that's a good idea. Like, we just do it now. But then we don't have a pick in mind, right? Right, that's the thing. Yeah. Which is not really different. Like, it's kind of the same, right? Because, like, you're either picking before you Which shoot. are not going to influence our picks anyway, right? It's not. But I kind of like that, like, ooh, I have my pick in mind. I'll get it after I win. Like, I don't know. It's just so it's different. Okay, ready? Yeah. 
Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I'm going to go with the card I hated on. <laughs> the draws four cards. It's twice I wanted this guy. Really? You like that guy? Well, in a ramp deck, I kind of do. Fertile Ground, Wild Growth, Garrick. Right. Doesn't matter now, does it? Don't. Show one. I should have. Story of my life. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. We're taking for bloop anyway. Yeah. It's a spirit. It's got blue it. in his name. <clears throat> Hunter, will you be quiet? Did you just take him out? What? Yeah, he doesn't gotta go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 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 Oh, finally. Jeez. <laughs> Over. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, take the serpent. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I was gonna take it. We don't need to do for these picks, right? They're, no, I think the last three are fine time, to just. Yeah. God. <laughs> Woo! That was like a battle, man. See, those times we weren't. Uh, those times were strategic. <clears throat> I'm good. I'm good. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Take the uh, the two drop. The green two drop. The, the rampy boy. You want a rascal, didn't you? N no, but I did want Vivian. That's what I meant. I think Ram's more important. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Aaron. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. <laughs> ah, yay! Yeah. Metamorph. I was going to take the Our cheaty real? card. It's cheaty card? Yeah. We ain't even got no green creatures to put in play. Yeah. It's got Voracious Hydra. Yeah, you didn't even want to take the Legion of the Tangle, but you want to take the green cheaty card. I yeah. like cheaty cards. They're my favorite. Well, did I like you back? Does someone keep, someone should keep score of our record. This is the most entertaining draft I've watched. Yeah, because it's like a draft within a draft. There's a battle within the battle. It's so meta. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It's like 9-4 last pack. Really? It's rough. Yeah, once you guys mention it, YouTube's like, I right, we're on it. <clears throat> okay. I okay. got my pick in mind. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I knew it was going to be scissors. Take the Horn Queen. I start with scissors a lot. Yeah, it's your, it's your weakness. But now you know that I know that. Right. And I'm also conscious of it. Rather than just, like, doing it. Okay. Uh... I got mine in mine. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Branchy boy. <clears throat> what were you going to take? Uh, that. Okay. There were also two looters. Yeah. Two looty tooties. I think looters are kind of meh. Not a huge fan of them. That's why you lose. And that is why you lose. Oh. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, Rampant Growth. Like, a lot of times we're taking the same picks because our deck is just going in that direction. But I still don't want to lose the rock, paper, scissors. So it's like, even... Then you should get good. <sighs> Fuck. You're right. You're right. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. Uh, Wolfie boy. Damn it. What, you think hippo boy? Hippo boy? Don't let me get hippo and draw the card? No. Okay. 
It's going to take that Ashiok. Really? Well, we do have a fetch that might get there, in theory. And we do have a ramp of growth. And those things. Well, actually, this doesn't help. <coughs> Disgusting! Okay. Uh, I'm picking a card. Okay, I got one of mine. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Interesting. What would you take it? Mana Confluence? Yeah. This card's actually really good in this cube. You just play it as a four drop. As a production for instance, and the next turn you just progenitus it. Progenitus. Progenitus. Progenitus, get in this house. <laughs> My name's Michael B. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 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 Yes. Damn it. Uh, big boy. <laughs> hey, I'll take it a big boy, huh? I was considering a land, but I don't remember what colors it was, so I didn't want to take that and be stupid. Uh, I believe. Wow. Now is my chance. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Fuck him. Take it. I'm going to take that anyway. Oh. Don't, don't spoil it. What does that spoil? It's already after the pick. Shut up. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil Hold on. Thank you. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Get cut, you little bitch. I didn't think you'd open on that again. <coughs> uh, okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Fuck em. <laughs> Okay, I guess. Doesn't matter, man. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Take the blue card. There you go, over here. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Take the blue card. <laughs> no, we'd actually play that, right? Well, maybe. Wait, we're doing it for this one? Yeah, just okay. fucking do it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just, yeah, just, just take the blue card. When there's two cards left, I don't think we should do it. Notice how a lot of the cards Frank wants to come back around. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. I fucking love it. I love the sauce and the awesome. What? Yeah. Huh? Ooh, Eric. Hey, Mr. Poo. <coughs> hey, Mr. Poo, butthole. Okay, I have a card in mind. Okay, I got a card in mind, too. <laughs> okay, a rock, a rock, a paper, a shoot. No, rock, paper, scissors, shoot, not rock, paper, shoot. Okay. <laughs> rock, a paper, a scissor, a shoot. Stop, the tempo's off. Just you do, do it then. Now. Rock, paper, just do it how you were doing it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Okay. Uh, okay. I uh, take out the good card. Okay. Alright. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Doesn't matter anyway. Does it not? No, your choice didn't matter because I crushed you. That's what I was saying. Oh. <clears throat> Rock, a paper, a scissor, a shoot. We gotta make two cuts already? God dang. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I know what I like. Does it like you back? Got him. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Snip, snip, bro. The double scissors, huh? Oh, Gen Genju of the Cedars is in here? That's interesting. Okay. I got it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 
Uh, but, 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 I forgot to pick a card. Oh my god. <laughs> Sick prismatic vista. Okay, that's a good choice. It's a good choice, huh? That's good soup! It's 25 cards. Anticipate can go. Football can go. Those cards aren't really. Cards for this deck. This deck's looking sweet, though. I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> I enjoy. Show me what you've got. I know what father likes. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Yeah, I was gonna take that too. Yeah, we just have enough playables and like, if anything else wants to come by, that's fine. Consider the once upon a time there, but. Yeah, same. All right, so these are all X's. All my X's live in Texies. Oh boy. Was that the baby elephant song? You're a baby elephant. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh boy. My hand's actually starting to hurt, which is kind of funny. But you don't gotta pound your hand into your fist every time. You can just do it like this. You don't gotta like. What, what can I do? What? What do I? What did you recommend I do? Not pound your fist. What's it? How did you do it? Like this. <laughs> You're a child. All right, man. Let's go. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Gem razor. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Take the we're just high. Yeah, we're just fighting for whoever gets to put you noble high. Down, put that on the sideboard. <laughs> what, is you fucking crazy? God, is you fucking crazy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What'd you cut? Curator of Mysteries. Okay. 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 Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Dang it! Get eaten. <laughs> I was actually going to take the other card. Really? Yeah. The Trivy? Yeah. I think we're good on that front. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Dang it! Boy, you really suck. <laughs> You're not going to put that in the main board? we got 25 playables right now. Yeah, but it lets us get any creature. That's insane. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got him. Uh, the, the, the Bronte boys. Give me the Bronte boys. Like, what card's better than getting any creature in our deck? I mean, we already like, have it gets green Metamorph? I think it's better than Green Sun. Because this can get anything. Yeah, but it puts it on the top, so it's like... Yeah, but it's an instant. No, It doesn't man. matter. You said main board? Also, you can't get, you can't get Metamorph with it. You can't get Battle Ball with it. You can't get uh, Sun God Serpent with it. I don't it. want those cards. It does the same I don't thing, want but those better. Cards. <clears throat> okay. All right. This is actually tricky. It's tricky, tricky, okay. tricky. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Take the Wolf Boy. Damn it. You wanted the two drop? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, take the stupid five drop. That no one ever plays because it's terrible. Give me the baby. Take this guy. Just in case we get a sweet red card at the end. And cast our Inferno. Cast our. Cast our. <clears throat> Alright, so I think we're just cutting some of the blue cards like Manalik, Tezzeret, and Voracious Great Hulk. It's actually probably good. And we can just splash for just that. And we can probably just play this guy. Yeah, and we can play the Tutor over the Green Sun. I like that. And now we're basically mono green with just like a nice little crassus at the top. Every once in a while we can pay for metamorph in that <sighs> life. Do we need the trilands? Well, they cycle. That's true. There's only one. All right. 
I think we can just play one island, right? Yeah, for sure, because we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that'll be six blue sources. Cool. Plus, plus rampant growth. Plus rampant growth. Plus fertile ground. Uh -huh. Plus noble hierarch. Yeah, we're definitely good. Like, that's... And we don't actually even need... Yeah, we don't even need it until, like, turn 57. 57. Yep, 11-1. That's what they wanted. That's what Father likes. Give me the Mac bees to Michael B. Living in the trash can of, with the bees every day. Yeah. Didn't you say green was bad? I don't think I said that. You know what you want from the Thai place? Oh, yeah. Give me uh Same thing as last time? No, give me... Just message me it so I don't mess it up. <laughs> okay. Or put it on a little sticky note so I can see it. That'd be easier, actually. Easier than messaging it to you? Yeah. Why? So you can just put it over on the side of the screen so I can... Oh, I just, I'll just i just pop up a note. Yeah, a notepad. So, yeah, yeah. So let's go like this. Notepad. Let me get... I'm going to take one with me for lunch tomorrow, so... Oh, yeah, we're snapping that off. Let me get a pad C so and a pad tie with tofu. Medium. Mediums? Okay. Two meads. Two meads. <clears throat> you should yell and be like, you were closed yesterday. We tried to come in and get food and you guys weren't open. Let's see what I'll they get say. right on that. Let's see what they say. Go bananas. B bananas? Go bananas. I googled pad thai instead of thai house. <laughs> What's the number for pad thai? <laughs> Hello, this is pad thai. Shut up and take my money. Oh. One. Are they out there again? Oh God. Not again. Are you serious right now? I'll give it one more shot. Why are they closed? No? Nope. Dude. What the hell, man? This is not okay. Well. Oh my god. Yeah, it's only 8.05. Yeah, this is not okay. I wish they would answer and then just tell us they're closed. That'd be great. How are you no, guys? No, like we ordered after 8 the other time. Like no, I know. It says they're open until 8.45. And I confirmed that when we went there too earlier. We are like, are you open until 8.45? And they're like, yeah. Are they just not answering? Are they like, shut the phone off at 8? Maybe. Maybe they shut down the phone at 8. I don't know. That's weird, man. I'm not... Usually when they shut off the phone, it would go right to voicemail and ring. I'm going to give it one more shot, even though it's probably worthless. Can't they also be on the... F I don't know how it works. Never mind. I don't know how phones work. I feel like it's pretty unreasonable to not answer your phone 45 minutes before you close. <coughs> nope. <coughs> I guess they might not answer their phone after 8. It's my only guess. Can we order online? We can try. I mean, I don't know how to do it. They're on Grubhub, I think. 
Well, I don't want to deliver it. I just want to order it online so we can go pick it up. Shut up and take my money. One, wow, you didn't finish reading my donation. Thanks, Thai Food Place Buck. <laughs> oh, biscuits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you can only order through calling them. Oh, this is going to be... Because their website redirects to Facebook and... Facebook redirects to MySpace. And MySpace redirects to... Friendster. And Shut Friendster up. redirects to Michael B. Also, like, even if we find a way to order online, do you really want to do that when they're not answering their phone? No. I don't want to do anything anymore. Also, I've noticed, that, like... They randomly just don't answer their phone. It's really weird. Like, one night when I ordered from them, I called like three times and it was busy, and then I waited half an hour and they picked up. Might as well taking a poop, man. Taking a little poop, Michael. Michael, they're just taking a little poop. What do you want? Damn it, Thai House. You know what makes me sad? Having to have Burger King again. Yeah, I really don't want fucking Burger King. I mean, what's our option, man? <laughs> Still didn't read the donation. He just doesn't want to admit that Mike is the super I'm not even talking to you right now. I'm not even, we're not even, we're not even communicating. Who chooses this eyeball as their, as their avatar? Like after 8 o'clock, our options are so limited. Uh, everything can mutate after it's on the board, but you just have to have another mutate creature. They also can't be a human. Arby's is probably not going to be open. <laughs> Maybe they're just not in business anymore. Maybe they, we just can't get Ty here anymore. That'd be real sad. Well, we're only here. It's only like two more weeks, man. Still sad. Why? Because I want it. Okay. Arby's closes at eight. No, but I mean, I'm not going right now. Don't be a land. Oh, that's pretty good for not being a land. Give me the beach balls and free my soul. I want to get... Are you trying again? Yeah. That's a good idea. Nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd like to place a pickup order. Seven two seven two four four six eight two six six eight two six. I'd like to place two separate orders, please. Uh, for the first order, can I get uh, fried rice with chicken, spice level mild? Uh, yes. Also, can I get an order of pad thai, uh, chicken, spice level medium? That's it for that order. And I have a second order. Yes. Block, it's okay. We're not paying on the yes, phone. Yes, but I have one more separate order to place. Or having delivered, so. Okay, for the other order, let me get a pad CU. With tofu, medium. Yes, also an order of pad thai with tofu, also medium. That's it. Thank you. Bye. You said seven minutes. <laughs> That's so random. That's so specific and short. We got both those bitches ready I in guess seven minutes. I'll leave in five minutes? I don't know. I guess I should just leave now? I don't know. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, Thwok, it was all good. Because we're going to, like... Well, Mike, we already know Mike's phone number. There's literally a command. <laughs> yeah. Was it Mike's phone? Mike's number? Mike digits? Mike's number? digits? Is it just number? Mike's digits. There we go. Mike's digits, okay. So you can just find it there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, also I'm going to pick it up, so it's not like we're giving credit card information or anything. See what I mean? It's so weird. Like, they just randomly answer, and then they do answer. 
I see what you mean. Take my money. I see what you mean. I don't have much, but here's some moving bug. Jimmy, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. I'll fight this guy. Okay. Fought him. I'll fight this guy. Time for an all of one's copied and pasted his credit card in front of the chat. Oh, boy. Oh, that's wild. Mike's dreams. <laughs> what if there was a Mike's dreams command? <coughs> what are you killing? My land? Okay. All right. This is a 10-10. Does the red deck do anything against that? Because I think the answer is no. Give me the beach balls and free my soul. I ain't giving you shit. Well, that's very rude. Maybe it's just the one lady and she just happened to be busy. That's literally what could happen for that sure. makes sense. What if you left a message and you were like, hey, just trying to place a to-go order. Give me a call back whenever you're ready and I'll uh, place it. I wonder if that's a legit. And she would like, hello, Thai house. Hey, man, what's that clip? I don't know. It's probably me saying I'm so proud of you in a joking when, way. When you wake up in the morning, you're like, man, I'm really, I'm, I'm proud of what I accomplished the, 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 the day before. Or? Yeah, 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 just, uh, every day. Every day. Every day what? <laughs> oh, this one's actually pretty good. <laughs> every day. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about the thing. thing. <laughs> Jesus Lord. Mary and Joseph. Rest in peace, favorite cup. One, two, three, four. Wait, what? Is that the red cup? Yeah. Did you not take that with you? No, I didn't. I mean, Inferno Titan's cool and all, but. Adcom Mike's cup wisdom. This guy, like, dude, their Inferno has to chum block insane. this guy. What even is that? Mike's cup wisdom? Oh, this one's... I think this one's good. Have hey, I got any funny cup whistles before? This guy was drunk. A hand in the bush is worth two in the sword. A hand in the bush is worth two in the sword. That's not a thing. That's not a saying. <laughs> That's not... It doesn't even make any sense. Sure it does. Nope, it doesn't. Just think about it. Alright. Nope, it doesn't make any sense. Am I got any funny cup whistles for us? A two in the hand, a two in the sword is worth one in the bush. <laughs> That's an old proverb. Are you okay? I didn't say proverb there. I said proverb. I didn't hear it. Fuck, you could have got away with it too. Look, they just have to. They're Inferno Titan. Wait, what? Their Inferno Titan is literally relegated to chump blocking my fucking dinosaur. Uh, okay. I will choose no one to fight. Alright, well I guess it's time to go get the food. Alright, see you later. You want me to slide that card? Uh, yes. It might be over there. It might be. I'll check. Okay. Check out the Chinese, the Chinese chicken. See you later. Hey man, drive safe. Don't hurt the, don't hurt the Thai food. Wow. Don't hurt the precious cargo of my Thai food. We won the game. Nice. I know. I know, dude. Let's see. Oh my god, what are you doing? Chulu bottle drop. I don't see it. You dropped the Cholula bottle? Yeah. Oh lord. Didn't break. Oh good gravy. He's <laughs> dropping Cholula bottles. Hold on. Got him. And he left. Hmm. 
in a world full of Jan Michael Vincents. The green screen moved. My my immersion has been ruined. Oh wow, that's wild. I'm gonna play Noble Hierarch. Plus, is the stream really worth watching? God damn, ancient stirring. Fucking brutal, dude. If you like pina coladas, do 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 do. Hunter, knock it off. Don't be a biscuit. Incubazione. This turtle's trying to get get through the glass. She don't know how glass works. Ancient stirring. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the support. Always good to see you, my dude. I don't think they have a a dude, so. Oh, what? You got a flash creature? Oh. Okay. Stromkirk. Oh, it's old Jimmy Stromkirk. Michael is going to get Thai food. What we were supposed to have last night. And I got one for the drive tomorrow, too. I got some pad CU that I can take with me. So that should uh, make it the drive a little easier. Going on, draw step. Easier in the sense of like I won't have to stop for food. Oh, that's old Jimmy Stromkirk. Let's play this guy. Uh, Katie, my love, I would love to have Indian. I think it depends on just when I get there, and also if we if we're gonna go see that house. Because that really determines whether, like, we have time. Because I don't know how late Indian's going to be open, you know? They might be closed at, like, 8 or 9. And I think I'm probably going to get there around 8. Uh, Thai food's not super... It's not super hard to eat. I literally just take a fork and leave it in the container that it's in. And then I can just eat it when I get there. Or not when I get there, but, like, when I'm on the road. Like, I'll take a break at a... We'll probably be sad. Oh, God. I can't tell if that's because the Indian place is going to be closed or because the house person isn't going to get back to us. Yeah, I just have I'll just bring a fork and like one, two, three, four, five. So we have seven. We can just play Battle Sphere here. That's pretty good. Turn four Battle Sphere is pretty okay. Also, I wish this guy would write me back. 
I responded to him at like 345, so five hours ago. One, two, three. Oh, what's happening right now? Yeah, so, uh, we have a mirror. Noble Hierarch's like, I got you, fam. Oh, is there a phone number? Um, yeah, I think so. Let me check. I think I wrote it down. Uh, I think it's this Shaw. No, it's 60 iris. Okay. Yes. Oh, what up, Dean of Clean? <laughs> Is that my Franklin? Phone scam in 2020. Impossible. Bear, dear, bear, dear. Oh, God. Metamorph copy. Ooh, biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When Frank Sinatra sings, stormy weather, the flies and the spiders get along together. Okay, let's go. Uh, tapa, 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 tapa. Uh, tapa, 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 tapa. That's eight damage. <laughs> This must be what prison is like. Little branchy boy. 
put on a happy face. Branches are gonna... Well, let's play land. Can I agree with the opponent said? This just got out of hand real quick. Thanks for the games, bud. Love the content. See, if you don't say big fan in chat, then I'm actually... I'm okay. Once you say big fan in the chat, it's all downhill. Oh, look who it is. Large Brandon. I gave him the good games because it seems like it's more... It's a cordial. It's a courteous thing to say. What were we going to draw? Forest? All right. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Is actually really good. Arbario. Sammy, have a good night. Thank you for hanging out, buddy. I will drive safe just for you, my dude. And for me, but also for you. Oh, man, this guy's... This guy's outlasting. This gives us a nice little safe... Uh, a little safety do for... All right, so they got one turn to answer a 4-4 that can't be an instant. Otherwise, we get to turn it into Progenitus. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... That's fine, but that's not gonna do it. Are they just gonna rampant growth here? Oh, boy. Oh, progenitus. Baby genitus. Oh, we're doing it. Three turn clock. Oof. That's a, that's a beauty, too. Like, there's just no world where we don't... Snap... Snap progenitus. So we take one, two, three, four, five, but they're on a three turn clock, and next turn we have ooze. Yeah, we're just coming, getting in there. I have no idea how they deal with this guy. Just like Wrath of God? But then we get to biogenic ooze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Should I stay up too late to do so? I think you could try it once or twice, for sure. I mean, it's cube draft, right? Like, I'm never going to turn down a cube. Okay. This guy's got pro everything, though. This guy just kills them next turn, right? I don't even need to play anything here, right? I can just ambush her if I need to. Because I'd rather, if they do have, like, a Wrath, which is one of the only cards that gets them out of this guy, then, like, I'd rather just have Biogenic Ooze to, to recover with. Yeah, she's going to take five here. Go to nine. They have three cards. I don't think they have... Oh, wait, kill me. Realm Cloak Giant? Chandra. That doesn't do it. You can't neg six. You can't neg three. You can't plus two. Okay. Hex Drinker gets the job done. Hunter, stop, dude. He's so whiny. All right, just gonna shh, run it back. Run it back, run it back. It's a little slow, but Council's judgment would have been good, yeah. Oh, that was a good draw. This is an enchantment or a creature, right? Yes, we've definitely been to Thai House before. It's excellent. Ooh, fascinating. I think we're just attacking here. But they just buffed. Okay. Well, we're just going to flash an ambusher. That's fine. I think we actually do want to block here just because we don't want this guy getting bigger. Hmm. 
Let's draw Biogenic Ooze. Or like, even even Hydroid Crassus would be great here. That's good too. Hardest of Core, what up my dude? trying to send a text here. Put the opposite. Okay. All right, let's get a land out of this deck. <laughs> Come on. This is why we kept this, so that when we draw like 15,000 lands... Oh, Jesus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We get 8 next turn. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, this is fine if they're just making like one ones. That does not seem super impressive. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hierarch. I mean, Apex Altasaur is pretty bomb next turn. Oh, interesting. Is it a double block and also a uh, lightning strike? I imagine it is. I imagine this dude's going to get hit with a three spot. Yep. All right. That's fine. Oh, yes. Oh yes, so four, five, six, seven, eight, we can just fight all three of them. That's banging. I mean, I'm just gonna, oh, it comes into play tapped. I guess we're not doing that. This is risky, because if they have a shock, like, then we just lose our 8-8. Eight, eight. I guess it's still a 3-for-1? Don't have a shock, don't have a shock, don't have a shock. I guess if they had shock, like, maybe they probably would have killed one of these guys instead, but... Alright. Dean of Clean, thank you for the bits, buddy. It's all coming together. Wow, look, we're almost 2-0 with this, with this stip deck. Swords the... Oh, they're probably gonna... Gideon and kill it. That's unfortunate. I mean, they're out of cards now, and we get a battle sphere, so. Oh, Nissa. Vivian, rather. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana.
think we just want the Vivian here. Because it also lets us, like, negative two is great with this. Uh, let's plus one you. Let's put a trample on you. Crack this so we don't have to see this anymore. Well, that's not the same at all. That's not the same. I was thinking the haste counter, that'd be great. Yeah, that Gideon Ger Geronimo. Where my haste counter at? Oh, this guy, he's just living his best life. Oh, big brims. Dang, that's that's wild. Oh, we can neg two. Oh, you search your library. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you. Six, seven, eight. Super Fritz. Thank you for the gifted sub, my dude. One, two, three, four, five. Get this island off the top. And by island, I mean forest. Stone Coil Serpent. I'll just draw that. Create a Bisto. Uh, yeah, Vigilance is fine. This seems good. I feel like we're a little bit ahead. Broomaz is a little annoying. Busy at work, but still here. Man, you are good people, my dude. Super Fritz, you are one of the finest sandwich makers in all the land. Down here, sandwiches are a way of life. So seven, eight, nine. We can play this for nine and then also just search for any creature in our deck. Oh, we just win the game. Are they? They're kind of dead, I guess. Man, we're 4-0. Also, we've played against two people with first name, last name, underscore in the middle. That's kind of weird. Down here, meatballs are a way of life. Oh, man. Would you say you unsubbed? Got him. Oh, look who it is. Snap it, snap it off. Snap it off and snap it out. Snappity doo da, Dave. Another red deck, huh? No one can hear you. Yeah, but you can. No, I can't. You can't? No. Someone with your this? Yeah, you. This is the same deck? What are we playing here? God, eight drop against the... Nine drop against the red deck, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. <clears throat> oh, wow, they're just being aggro. Now they're just being aggro. Yeah, grim, 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 grim. I was literally doing the same voice you were doing. Shut up. Yeah, grim, 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 grim. Oh, what up, J Mart? How, did, did they have it? Was it good? Was it ready? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was totally ready. To it was totally ready. There were two people not wearing a mask in there, so I'm glad I was wearing mine. Because there's not a lot of space in there. Because they don't have the dining room open, so. Well, you know, the mask is for other people's protection, not yours, right? Isn't it both, though, technically? I mean, 
not really. I mean, there's literally a, a thing I read the other night was like wearing a mask prevents like infinite. Like cuts down on a lot. they have covid and you wear a mask uh probability is still 70 percent hmm. if they wear a mask and you don't your probability is five percent so like the point is if you're asymptomatic and you have it you can't give it to anyone else because your mask is catching all of your particles hmm. but i mean even if it's only 70 percent, i mean that's still gives you a little bit better if you're wearing a mask right sure it's but still like, worth it right yeah of course it's still worth it but that you're not wearing it because it's worth it for you i mean it's worth it either way because you're the whole point of wearing it is to because if everyone does it then all the asymptomatic people won't be spreading the virus right that's the whole point check my email i have nothing in my email oh now i have something <laughs> Is this you? Because that's pretty hilarious. Uh, I guess we're just going to attack here. You can block and pirate spell more. You just kill this guy if you'd like. It's totally up to you. You think cloth is stopping these smaller than a micron? I do. I do, actually. Well, it's not just cloth. The ones we bought actually have a filter. That's literally the point of masks. <laughs> like, masks are pretty, 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 pretty well proven. Like, I mean, yeah, we use them in hospitals. Surgeons for... wear them to sterilize environments. Like, it's not like it's a fucking completely new invention. A mask. It's also not about like preventing every single micron. It's about like, I mean, if you're improving the odds. Like even let's say even, even let's say just in my case I'm getting thirty percent chance last of catching it. Why would you not? Right, exactly. Why it would doesn't you not? make any sense. Like, why would you not? Why would you not? That's, all, that's <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Katie Miller, welcome back. I feel like I'm just. Oh, we're scuba tanks everywhere. Hmm. Forty minutes of fresh, clean air. Delicious. 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 Huh? Delicious clean air. I don't want to play this for three. I'd rather play it for four next turn. Why not seven? Eighteen. Twenty-five. One billion. I don't have those things. <laughs> this guy's just been doing work. Wear your goddamn masks, folks. Correct. Correct. I agree with my girlfriend who is an actual doctor. Oh, here's the lobster spacesuits. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Yeah, Glorybringer's a real scumbag. Why not wear a hair, uh, hard hat too? You might get hit in the head with a boulder. Yeah, but the likeliness of you getting hit in the head with a boulder when you're out and about randomly is very, very low. Well, the likely you stay like, away from cliffs where such boulders a, are. It's just such a dumb fucking argument. Like, you, like people are stretching it so far to make dumb asinine arguments that aren't intelligent in any way, shape, or form. Like, it's just the dumbest fucking shit you could say. Like, the difference is a boulder is very unlikely to come falling out of the sky when I'm not near a cliff. COVID can literally be anywhere. Like, it's just so cringy. Like, how people, like, like... Accidents killed. Right, that's what. What accidents? Boulder accidents? I'm in a house, bro. <laughs> like, what are you fucking talking about? Wild, absolutely wild. So 
So just because something kills 2,000 people a year, we shouldn't try to prevent something that kills 100,000 a year so far? Everything you can think of that kills 200,000 people a year is regulated to limit the amount of deaths. Cars kill so many people, so we have driver's licenses and driving tests and seatbelt laws. We try to limit the number of deaths that are caused. Like, why just not try to prevent these so, deaths? So, you know what we're trying to do with COVID? We're trying to limit the number of deaths. So it, it just kind of makes sense, you know? Like, if you want to compare things... You know what? Whenever I'm driving down interstates, especially tomorrow when I'm going to Denver, there are signs that says, watch out for falling rocks. So that I know that maybe there's a boulder and I can protect myself. Like, it's just the dumbest fucking shit you could say or think. Like, it's just like people taking a stand that literally have nothing else to stand for in their entire lives. Okay, here's the thing about obesity. That's something I can prevent on my own. I can't prevent yeah, can't, getting COVID someone from else, someone. Someone else can't give These you are obesity. preventable things. Like, it's just the dumbest fucking shit. Like, <laughs> it's like, what if you got heart disease? Right, so I would take precautions not to do that. I would try to prevent it because that makes sense to me. So, like... What I, I just don't understand? Like I can't wrap my head around it. I can't, no, I can't wrap either. my head around how fucking stupid it is. I'm trying, man. It's also one of those arguments where it's like because one thing's bad, uh, we shouldn't help with the other thing that's bad. And the problem is, like, my points are, like, I know they're good. I know they're good, valid points. But it's just, they're not going to matter. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to matter because they're just going to come up with any fucking stupid, uh, stupid theory Shut or idea. Take my money. Just wear, five, just wear a mask, Bucks. Appreciate Like, what does wearing a mask hurt you? It doesn't. It doesn't hurt them at all. No, it doesn't. They just don't it's like It's a science. mild inconvenience. Well, what happens if you get a car accident? Well, you know what? I took a preventative measure for that, too. I wore a seatbelt. Also, you cannot drive cars and still exist in society, depending on where you live. Uh, but COVID's literally everywhere. It's literally everywhere. Unless you just stay in your house. It's in your butthole right now, guys. God, I hope not. You can't get away. It's so funny when people make, like, non non-transmissible diseases, and they make references to that when they're talking about COVID. Like... What if you get, what about heart disease? Well, that's not transmissible. I can't get that from someone else. So that's all on also, me. Also, it's just a, it's just a stupid argument in the first case because it had nothing to do with what you're talking about, really. Like, oh, uh, rocks kill 70,000 people a year. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with COVID? Not when I'm walking, not when I'm at the fucking Burger King, man. Like, what are you talking about? How do you have friends? <laughs> How do you interact with other human beings on a daily basis with any kind of like, in any kind of good faith? If you're going to be like, rocks fall out of the sky. It's just a, it is, it's totally a bad faith argument. And it's off topic. <laughs> Rock, what about boulders? What? <laughs> Real? Are you serious? Oh my god, just come on. I can't tell, like, it's almost, it's, it's at a point where, like, if you're going to say some shit like that, I can't tell if you're trolling. I can't tell if you're just joking. Because seriously. Also, that's the that number of 70,000 a year. People in like Australia have been following the rules fairly well, and now we have a state with no new reported cases for 11 days. Wait, so wait, are you, are you saying that the thing that science suggested that takes minimal effort and z literally zero inconvenience on your part worked? I don't know, man. Well, I... Okay, but 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 partist of court. Um, have you considered boulders? But have you seen the number of players that die from mere battle sphere? I I agree. We should actually be uh, more concerned with that, because that wrecks the nerds. That food smells good, man. It's getting in my nose holes. It does smell good. Apparently, but I'm probably being lied to by science. Unbelievable. Like, oh my god, when you when as soon as someone says like a non-transmissible thing, 
Because transmissible is the thing here. That's why you wear a mask, dumb fucks. As soon as someone mentions a non-transmissible disease in reference to COVID as, as to a reason, like, why you shouldn't wear a mask, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, that's when you're done. Like, that's when you've invalidated your entire your entire argument. I can't be part of a stream that is going to spread lies. So if you guys being dumb, y'all get in time. Katie, you have every right to time anyone you want out. Also, I'm having trouble finding a statistic on uh, how many people rocks, from boulders. Rocks from, rock, from boulders. So my guess is that's totally made up. <laughs> One battle sphere awareness bug. Michael, listen. Boulders, bro. Boulders. Land, 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 land. God, I fucking love it. It's also like when Dr. Phil was like, swimming kills pill kill uh, 2 million people a year. And it's like, the actual numbers are like 20. But here's the thing about swimming. You can choose not to swim. Because that's not transmissible. If you go to swim and you die, it's because of a mistake you made. If I go out and someone has COVID and they cough on me, that's not a mistake I made. That's something someone else did. His 2000 number was in regards to accidents, not specifically which accident. Which accidents? <laughs> Fuck, witches now too? Yeah, you gotta watch out for them. Casting their spells, Jeez. accidentally killing you. They are trying to revive you, but they killed you. That's what happened to my, my old wife, man. My fiance or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, I remember. She got burned at the stake, right? God, I just get so worked up at, at people who are act actively dumb and like to the point of endangering others. Like that's where like, I guess that's where I just, I fucking draw the line. Yeah, spreading even misinformation is actually super It's, you're dangerous. just a fucking piece of shit. It's also fucking irrelevant. 2,000 in a year versus 100,000 since March. Exactly right. Oh man, cool. Like cool. half the num numbers in four months, three months. Yeah, like right. It's literally half as many deaths in in like three months as there have been all year. Get out of town. All right, guys. Let's talk about something else. I want to not be this agitated. I like I like playing <laughs> Magic: The Gathering because it's a fun game. I just think it's funny that like, wait, what just that? Oh, they cracked their wood funhouse. Dying of a deadly disease, a deadly virus is political these days. It's fucking hilarious. Bill Gill, thank you so much but for I'll the stop. gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. My chicken nuggies were delicious. That's all I. That's all I could. But where they dinosaur shaped? I need to know, Katie. Are you dinosaur shaped? Sometimes. That's pretty cool, dude. Way to go, Hunter. You need to stop. I'll feed you after this match. Round. This match round. Give me a green. I just want another green, man. Big butter. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good one. This is good. Mike reveals the <coughs> truth. Are you guys ready? Tell them, Michael. Tell them about Big Butter. Big Butter buttered my biscuits, and I was at the butter factory, and then they I slid all the way out because it went down the butter chute. <laughs> you, you slid out, out of the butter chute, is what you're saying? You right. ever just round Michael's <laughs> cry face? Oh, the problem with the actual problem with dinosaur nugs is they're, they're usually not that quality. They were just round. <laughs> I came in the maple This is a safe space, guys. Oh wow, they just kill everything. One, two, three, four, five. Oh fuck, one man shy. I mean, I guess a 6-6 six, six is just fine. Slag storm. Mike, you should apply to be a Nugologist. Wow. A Nugologist. Neckart, thanks so much for the bits. Keep fighting the game. I mean, it's hard, dude. But yeah, you got to. It's just like, get out of my space, man. It's like, just... You believe what you want, man. Totally cool. Knock yourself out. But just don't bring it in here, because... This is a science stream, bitches. I want to just want to just give me another green. Bill, 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 neither engine. Like it just it doesn't hurt you. That's the thing. It ha it has no effect on you. If I told you there was a one percent chance 
you could save someone's life just by wearing a mask. 1%. Would you do it? Yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah, that's literally what it comes down to. And you only have to wear it when you're out of your house. Right, it's not like you're just hanging around the house with your fucking mask on. I'm sorry that it inconveniences your Arby's trip, but like... Like if you go through a drive-thru, don't need to wear it. If you order food, I, you don't I, need to wear it. I do wear mine in the drive-thru. Really? Well, yeah, because the point is if you're asymptomatic, like you're still talking to... You're not six feet away from the person in the window, you know? So... I don't talk to him. I just give him a card. <laughs> I don't open my mouth. Well, if I got it, I'm going to be like, give me some barbecue sauce. Give me some pepper, pepper barbecue sauce. Maybe you should try to talk less spitty like a weirdo. I remind of the drive-thru, but I'm high risk. But also like... Yeah, that makes sense. What if I want to wear a mask right now? You can. Then you can. That is your choice. My slight conveniences are more than human life. Yeah. Exactly. That's what it comes down to. But my rights. Well, that's not how that works. But, but my rights go down in the city. I just want to be there, yeah. In my city. Whoa, whoa. That's a little Steve Perry. He was... Uh, Steve Parrot? He was the lead singer of Journey. Oh, God. Robber of the Rich. Do they mulligan, or is this just how they... Getting beat up by Soul Rob. Yeah, it, doesn't feel, it don't feel good. Give something good. Oh, that could be good in a turn. In a turn, 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 in a turn. You just got to survive these two, I guess. I don't think it's working, though. Complaining about masks is literally complaining about speed limits. Yeah, you're always making money off these conspiracy theories, right? I mean, probably, sure. Can't wait for Luigi Manson Animal Crossing New Horizons stream. Is that going to be a thing? Oh, jeez. Now back to part 367 of our 1,000 part series of Animal Crossing. We're going to be crossing animals today with the best of them. I gotta kill my own elf. Alf? I think we're dead here. I don't think we're meant to 3-0 this cube once, so what can you do? Wizards I just announced the companions would be changing in some form or fashion. Oh, on wow. Fuck. Eat crow, dude. That's wild. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklin patreon.com slash franklin and mandatraders.com and cool stuff inc. You can find all those links and promos down in the description. Mandatraders has a sweet deal where you get 20% off the first three months of any, of any subscription. Any one, man. You pick. And, uh, you know, it's a good deal. Helps me out, too. It's a great way to support the channel. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Wear your fucking masks. <laughs>